So a little while ago, I posted this picture to my Facebook and Instagram, and I asked, what would you do if you turned up to the studio to try to record your next guitar-centric album and Homeboy put out this rig? Can you use it? Do you leave? What do you do? I thought we would explore that a little bit more and put this rig to the test to see if we can actually make something manageable out of it. Can, it, can we record something that you would want to listen to, that you can mix, that you can do anything with. Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. Whether you're a returning viewer or a new viewer, thank you so much. If you're a returning viewer, you know this is not my normal setup, but I like to change things around whenever we do videos like this. If you're a new viewer, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all that kind of good stuff. Check links in the description. I got stuff down there for everybody. Whether you've been around for a while or you're joining me now for the very first time, thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and talk about this for a minute, okay? And then I'll give you my result, because I've already recorded the result. I'm gonna try not to give anything away as to what I feel about it, but we're just gonna see it. I want you to leave your opinions down in the comments. So, this is what we got right here. We got a Black Star Fly 3. This is a little three watt, uh, like portable amplifier to use for like at home recording, traveling, all that kind of stuff, playing music through while you play. It's a little, practice amp that's meant to be more like a novelty but it actually sounds good okay it's not like those little fender amps or the little marshals that are like real fizzy and just but these actually sound really good and i have a full video demo and re like review of this thing on my channel if you want to go check that out i even have a video comparing this to the boss katana mini which i have down here in the corner and the reason i'm not using that for this video is because this one's cheaper so i want to be as cheap as possible okay but there's the plug for that if you want to go check that out, again, I got a video on my channel demoing this, talking more about it. So that's what that is. Uh, in front of it, you notice there's a microphone. Eagle Eye viewers may notice that this is a microphone that you've seen in probably well over 100 videos at this point. Um, this is my vocal mic. This is the one that you normally see kind of sitting right here that I'm talking into. Um, and it sounds pretty good for vocals. I've never really used it for miking up a cabinet until today. So we're going to see if this little cheap microphone that I got on Amazon in a kit, mind you, is like a podcasting kit. So with the arm, the shock mount, all that stuff for about $35 a few years ago, um, kind of when I started taking the channel seriously, um, got it for about $35. So between the amp, which I think runs now about $70 or $80 in this, which may run about, let's say, $30 to $35, maybe $40, let's call it about $120 in to our rig <laughs> with uh, the amp and the mic, okay? Super duper cheap to be miking up a cabinet or any kind of amp for that matter. But we're gonna take it further, okay? We're not just gonna say, okay, we got this and then I'm gonna plug my, you know, Epiphone Les Paul 50 standard, like a, you know, a good guitar into it that we already know sounds good and plays well. No, we're gonna keep it cheap, even on the guitar front. You may have noticed the headstock bobbing around right there. This is our guitar of choice, our vessel, if you will. This is an Ibanez Geo Micro. So it's a three quarter scale guitar, uh, super cheap. You can find these used, which I got this one used all day long for like under a hundred dollars, right? They're, they're super cheap. I, I wouldn't pay more than maybe $120 for them. Not that they're bad guitars, but if you're looking for like a full scale guitar, it, Play one of these before you pick one up, okay? That's all I can tell you. Um, I have a video on one of these as well. The one that I had before was blue. I've actually owned a couple of these. This is probably the best one that I've ever had, <laughs> like straight out of getting it used. Um, I also have a video talking about these. You want to go check that out, all that kind of cool stuff. But anyway, so there's our rig kind of up front. Black Star Fly 3, little cheap Amazon microphone, Ibanez Geo Micro. So let's say we're at about $200 between the guitar amp and uh, microphone. Still keeping it cheap. All of that is being recorded into a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 first gen, which if you know about the first gen Scarlet 2i2s, they weren't very good for one big reason. They had like a, I think it was a preamp issue where no matter how much you turn that gain down, your guitar signal would still clip. And you it was basically unusable. But I have found a way around it. I believe I've talked about it before. If you are having problems with the Scarlet 2i2, uh, first gen and you want a solution like a cheap solution i have it for you and i may talk about it in another video i'll gauge the interest leave me a comment let me know so there's that still staying super cheap with that super cheap studio monitors that i've used forever alesis uh don't even know what they're called but i got them on amazon for like 100 bucks for the pair 
Um, in the song that you're going to hear, the bass tone um, is on my Jackson uh, Minion bass. So another short scale bass uh, this time. That bass is awesome. I use that bass for everything. Sounds great. Uh, free plugins, right? So I've got free amp sims, free IRs for the bass because I don't have a bass amp. Otherwise, I'd be using a, a bass amp. But anyway, so there's that. So everything you can see is either free or like stupid cheap. The drums I uh, I got from a guy on YouTube. I use his drums all the time. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description. I don't know how to say his name. Arnold, Arnold Krakow, Krauska. I, I don't know how you say it. Sorry. Uh, link in the description. I use his drums all the time. You can buy them super duper cheap. They're like five or six dollars a track and you have the right to use them. He has different tiers of licensing, but check it out regardless. Link in the description. I'm not being paid to say that or anything. That's just me spreading the good word. So there's our rig. As far as mixing the song, I minimal mixing. So like high pass, low pass, just to make it fit in a mix. Volume matching so nothing's blaring in one ear or whatever that's it i think i put a delay on the lead that i did that's it so i'm not like over mixing to make it sound like it's a great whatever it, it sounds the way that it sounds practically out of the gate right again with some low pass high pass just to get it to fit in a mix okay i may even do some individual tracks just so you can see what this thing sounds like on its own so you're hearing me talk through camera audio but you're about to hear what this sounds like just mic'd up no effects, no editing, no nothing. judge of whether you like that or not it's a pretty decent starting point for if you have no other options at least to me but there's that let's see i've talked for like seven minutes i'm so sorry uh let's see if we can use this whole rig this the guitar uh the bass all that kind of stuff and let's see if we can get a good sounding track out of all of this So I think the results speak for itself. 
I was absolutely blown away by realistically the microphone. Because like I said, I've already done a full video on the Black Star here, the amp. And I use this microphone that I'm talking into right now. This is an SM57. So, I mean, it's going to be kind of the standard. Not the best thing you can use, but we all know it's reliable. It sounds good, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can go get some individual tones and see what it sounds like in the video that I did, the full review and all that kind of stuff. That's uh, on my channel. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm more blown away by the microphone. Because that is a... If you bought that microphone on its own without all the other stuff that I mentioned earlier, it's probably like a $25 microphone. Uh, and, and it sounds really good <laughs> for what it is. If you really just needed some kind of cheap, quick microphone setup, or if you, if you had the ability to record with a mic'd up cab on the go and you took this with you, you would have no issues. You need to turn the Black Star up a fair bit um, the microphone is like right up on it too. You know, typically you keep like two finger link, like, you know, two fingers away from the, but it's like right up on it. I think it's probably about a, a finger away and it sounds great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you toy with the, uh, ISF knob up there and all that kind of stuff. I'm rambling, but it sounds really good. And you heard in that demo, again, that's minimal mixing. That's a lot of free plugins on the bass. The drums were super cheap, but they sound great. You know, um, the guitar, I mean, even the guitar's got old strings on it. I didn't even change the strings on this. It's, you know, I kept it proper cheap. It's, it's, it is what it is. And I think it sounds great. I think you can get really good results out of this. I was blown away. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you think, if it was good, if it was bad, why I could have done better, what I did wrong, all that kind of good stuff. If you liked it, leave me a comment and let me know. Again, leave me a comment. You want me to cover anything else or if you want me to fill you in on my little uh, Scarlet secret whatever, all that kind of good stuff. And hey, again, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, all that kind of good stuff. If you are a returning viewer, again, thank you guys so much for sticking around. I appreciate it. Links in the description. You like my shirt. I know you do. Go pick one up for yourself. I got one at my Teespring store. I got some new designs, all that kind of stuff. It's a fun time over there, okay? Uh, all the money that I get from that supports the channel, all that kind of good stuff. You know how that works. But again, thank you guys so much. Leave me a comment. Let me know how bad I suck. And I'll see you guys in the next one.